pull up in the chandeliers The wanting and dining The menu is blood, sweat, and tears Everybody ready, raining the confetti Champions are born right now Hammer the glamour, click goes the hammer Run when you hear that sound tell you what, I don't think you can go wrong with this service. Right away I noticed it, it was like, wow, how can it be this fast? The installer came and he did just a super guy. The beauty of it is I'm getting better service, saving money, man, you can't go wrong there. Internet starting at $69.99. Petty Jean Fiber. Better service, better pricing. Welcome to The Good Life. Finding an insurance provider that offers a wide variety of coverage options and superior customer service can be challenging. American Safeguard Insurance is your best choice in Central Arkansas because we offer large agency resources and coverage options with small agency service. Don't settle for less. Experience more savings, more coverage, and more service with American Safeguard Insurance. Arkansas Mountain Real Estate. Your natural choice is in the perfect location right at the foothills of the Ozark Mountains on the shores of Grisbury Lake in Clinton. Our coverage area reaches far beyond the city limits of Clinton. We offer real estate in the Grisbury Lake area, foothills of the Ozark Mountains, Clinton, Fairfield Bay, and Little Red River areas, covering the counties of Van Buren, Cleburne, Faulkner, White, Stone, and Searcy, as well as all the surrounding counties. Contact Arkansas Mountain Real Estate, your natural choice for all of your real estate needs. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first. 
by empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charity, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank. Member FDIC. At NAP Trust, they specialize in insulation and creation of custom wood trusses for your home or business. NAP Trust utilizes only premier lumber to ensure our products last. When you come to NAP Trust, you will have the peace of mind knowing you're receiving the best quality construction for the best price in the area. NAP Trust staff members have years in the industry and know what it takes to install a quality trust from the start finish. Call NAP Trust at 870-948-2105 today. F.L. Davis is more than just a hardware store with six locations to serve you in Heber Springs, Greer's Ferry, Sherwood, Pea Ridge, Fayetteville, and Centerton. They are your one-stop shop for hardware and home improvement. They are also the home of the Lake Boutique, featuring clothing, footwear, jewelry, accessories, baby items, home decor, and kitchen items. Whether you're building a new home, improving your old one, or needing a gift for yourself or someone else, stop by one of their locations and experience all that they have to offer. And welcome back here to Rector High School. I'm Jonathan Peters along with Rodney Burrow and Mr. Donnie Esri on the camera. And we've got a girls matchup here between the Conway Christian Lady Eagles, the number one seed out of the 2A Central, taking on the Lifeway Christian Lady Warriors, the number four seed out of the 2A West. And the Lifeway Christian Lady Warriors come in 20 and 12, and Conway Christian comes in 29 and five on the year. The Conway Christian Lady Eagles will be in the white uniforms with the blue strap down the side. And the Lady Warriors of Lifeway Christian will be in their black uniforms with the red and white down the strap. We're about three minutes and 30 seconds away from the tip of this one. If you missed a second, get to the first two games. Hector Lady Wildcats knocked off the Bigelow Lady Panthers. And Lavaca just knocked off Salone Hendricks in a thrilling game of an overtime. We are on game number three of game number six tonight. As our next game, we'll have Bigelow taking on Hector. And then uh, we'll have at 7 o'clock, Fordyce taking on Rector. And at 8.30, we'll have Fordyce taking on East Poinsett County. All right, we're going to go off to one air just one second. We'll be back here with the starting lineup. Stay with us here at Lake Area Sports. Ivy Physical Therapy in Hamber Springs is a proud supporter of the Lake Area athletes. If you or your student athlete are looking to get back in shape or for therapy after an injury, give Ivy Physical Therapy a call at 501 362 8118 or visit ivyphysicaltherapy.com. versus fiber internet. Who will win? Ah, oh, my internet's lagging. Oh, got you. I'm froze up. I can't move. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Petty Jean Fiber, game-changing internet. At American Safeguard Insurance, our job is to make sure you understand exactly what you need so you're covered if your worst case scenario becomes a reality. 
we offer a variety of coverage options, including personal and commercial insurance, so that your home and business are covered no matter what. Don't settle for less. Experience more savings, more coverage, and more service with American Safeguard Insurance. Arkansas. And welcome back here to the 2A State Basketball Tournament on the AAA Digital Network, complement of Lake Area Sports and Pettygene Fiber. Throughout the evening, we'll be giving you scoreboard updates. We got a scoreboard updates out of the 5A, Benton 14, with Sylvan Hills 13 at the end of the first quarter. And this is all girls. 6A girls, Fayetteville leads Bryant 17 to 9 at the end of the first quarter. In the first quarter, the Bergman Lady Panthers lead Jesseville 13 to 13. And at the end of the first quarter, uh, one of you leads Mark Tree eight to six. We're going straight court side. Stay with us here. Welcome back here. We got for the Lifeway Christian Lady Warriors at a record of 20 and 12. They got Bruner, Ruffley, Wingard, Mosley, Hate, Holly Mosley, and Lily Mosley. For the Conway Christian Lady Eagles at 29 and 5, you've got Pratt, Williams, Keithley, Gibson, and Malone. And here we go. Balls in the air, controlled there by Wingard. Wingard will bring it across the timeline. Gives it up there in the far corner. Boy, them numbers are hard to see. Up and in there for Mosley. Quickly on the board for the Warriors of Lifeway. They have got some tall girls on that back back there. Yes, they do. And Mosley and uh, well, both Mosley's. Gibson up and in for the Eagles for the first two points. The three ahead, stolen away there by Josie Williams. Williams has committed to Harding, Academy, or Harding University. Inside Gibson gives it up to Malone. Malone spins, turnaround shot off the mark, no good. And rebound pulled down by the Lifeway Christian Lady Warriors. It's in the hands there, Wingard. Wingard will give it up there to Lily Mosley. Inside, shot off the mark, no good. There by number 15, Hallie Mosley. And quickly the other way come the Lady Eagles of Conway Christian. Far corner, Keithley, three. Off the mark, no good. Rebound by Gibson. She's going to work, and she's going to be fouled. First foul going to be on Hallie Mosley. We'll have two shots here. Up and in. Makes it three to two. Up and in there, makes it four to two. She's got all four points in. And that's stolen away there by Brooklyn Pratt. Back top of key to Keithley, now to Williams. 
Williams cross court to Pratt. Pratt's going to throw up a big three. Up and in, it goes. Get Pratt her first three points, makes it seven to two. 6.24 left to go. Wingard quickly working it across. On the hands there of number 24, Bruner. Now top of the key. Now that's Wingard. Now gives it back over to Bruner. Bruner looking to do something with it. Now gives it up there to Mosley. Mosley backdoors it up and in there to Lily Mosley. And the Mosley girls go to work. Lily Mosley. Quickly across the timeline is Josie Williams. Quickly ahead of Brooklyn Pride to Gibson. Gibson with the basketball now to Keithley. Keithley backdoors it to Williams. She can't get control of it. Picked up there by Bruner. Bruner working across the timeline. Quickly. 5.41 left to go here. Out of the hands, can't see in that far corner now, top of the key. And it's roughly, excuse me, that's Wingard. Wingard looking to do something with it. Gets it in there to Lily Mosley. Mosley going to work, up and in. And Lily? Lily Mosley. Yes, sir. 7 6 now, 5 18 left to go. Pratt with the basketball, trying to get it in there to Malone, stolen away by the Lifeway Warriors. Halfway Warriors are coming out of the 2A West. There's the number four seed. Roughly with the basketball. With the top of the key there to Hallie Mosley. Mosley's going to give it back to Wingard. Wingard trying to get it in there. Stolen away by Josie Williams. Williams quickly ahead to Gibson. Gibson just loses the handle on it and goes out of bounds. Yep. Went off her back, off her foot. And we're going to be back to the Lady Warriors. And trailing here, 7-6, to six, 439 left to go. And Lee Mosley gives it up to Hallie Mosley. Hallie looking to get it across. 29 to go on the shot clock. Stolen away there by the Lady Eagles. That's Josie Williams to the hole. Josie Williams. That's her first points of the game. It's at nine to six, quickly here, roughly. Now gets it across is Bruner. Bruner will pick it back up. Now giving it the far corner to Mosley. Hallie Mosley off the mark, no good. Rebound by Williams and the Lady Eagles. They're wanting to push it. Far corner, Gibson, three, in and out. And rebound pulled down there by the Lady Eagles and out of bounds was Bruner. And they're gonna say it's back to the Lady Eagles with 4.01 left to go. This is our second girls game of the night, of the afternoon, I guess you could say. Yep, sun shining bright here at the Rector, High School. Rector High School, to, I guess the Cougar uh, Pavilion. Up and off the mark, no good. Oh, look. It's stolen away there by Brooklyn Pratt. Now kicks it back out to Williams, Williams, step back three is on its way. It's up, it's in. Gives her five, makes it 12 to six. 3.32 left to go in this first quarter. Bruner with the basketball. Bruner trying to get rid of it. Gets it up to Wingard. Wingard trying to get back to Bruner. Bruner trying to break the timeline. They do. Quickly ahead. Mosley going to work. That's really Mosley. Back out to Bruner. Bruner losing the handle, picked up there by Malone. Malone trying to get ahead to Williams. Throws it away, picked up by Wingard. And Wingard's gonna be pushed out of bounds, or out of bounds off of Pratt. And let's see who's gonna come out. Oh, Keithley's going out, and uh, Lily Brister's coming in for the Lady Eagles. Oh, inside. That's Mosley, that's Hallie Mosley going to work up and in. Hallie Mosley. Makes it 12 to eight. 255 left in this one for the first quarter. Both the Mosley girls got all the points. Yep. Lily Brister with the basketball. Brister's gonna kick it in the far corner there to Pratt. Pratt trying to do something with it. Gives it over to Gibson. Gibson spins, shot up off the mark, but she's going to be fouled. I believe that one's going to be on Wingard. Lady Warriors foul for 12. Emily Wingard, her second. Team second. Conley Gibson to 
Ooh, got that lucky roll and got it. He's now got five points. Yep. Second one's on the way. Give her six. Makes it 14 to eight. 232 left to go. Quickly the other end come the Lady Warriors. They're trying to regroup here. That's roughly with the basketball. Now gives it up there to Mosley, trying to get it inside of Lily Mosley. And she almost loses the handle. Bruner comes away with it. Bruner going to give it up. Shot up and off the mark. No good there by Hallie Mosley. And it's going to stay went, <coughs> it's went off, lively. Went off of Malone. Out of bounds. Stays with the Lady Warriors. Hauls him out of the Lily Mosley. I don't think the Lady Warriors have seen this kind of pressure. And we're going to have a foul. Nothing's going to be on Gibson. <clears throat> Lady Eagles foul number 33, Conley Gibson. Her first, team first. Lily hmm. Mosley, two shots. Hmm. She gets the first one to go. And the second one to go. Change that score. Is that Lily? Yep, it was Lily. Gives her six. Goals. And Wingard went out. And I can't see that number. Grayson there Moore, number 13. 13, okay. Yeah. Brister will give it back over there to Pratt. Now back to Gibson. Now in the far corner, Brister. To Gibson. Now Pratt. It's going to be whacked away there by Haley Mosley. Or Hallie Mosley, excuse me. Oh, Pratt yeah. knocks it out of bounds. And that sun is coming in. Look at it right there on the floor, right there on the bottom of the R. Yeah. Well, you can turn to our right and just. <laughs> it's a beautiful day up here in Rector, Arkansas. Yes, it is. Cross court pass there. To Bruner, Bruner looking for that screen. Going to reset. 23 on the shot clock. 120 on the game clock. On top of the key there to Moore. Moore going to be knocked out of bounds there by the Lady Eagles. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. <clears throat> Balls inbounded to. Hallie Mosley now top of the key there to Grayson Moore. Now I'm trying to get it inside there to Lily Mosley. Ball's loose. Picked up there by Kara Keithley. Quickly come the Lady Eagles of Conway Christian. That's Josie Williams. Williams are trying to get rid of the defender. Now gives it over to Keithley. Keithley three. Off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled down by Hallie Mosley. Now saved there by Brister. Now back to Conley Gibson. Gibson three up and in. Conley's got, is having a good quarter. Yes, she is. She's got nine right now. Nine of the 17. Josie has five, and Brooklyn Platt has the other three. Quickly across to Sydney Bruner. She'll pull it up. Now gives it up there to Grayson Moore. Now in the hands of Mosley. That's Hallie Mosley. Stowing away there by Pratt. Quickly ahead to Williams. Williams goes up and in. 10 to 10 now. Mosley looking to get it across. Now gets it ahead there to Ruffley. Now Bruner can't track it down. Seven to go. Six seconds as they get it across. Williams with the basketball. Now back out to Keithley. Keithley to Gibson at the buzzer. And off the mark, no good. We played one. Stay with us here at Lake Area Sports, and we'll be back here on the Triple A Digital Network. 
Arkansas Mountain Real Estate is a full-service real estate company that will help you every step of the way. If you are looking to sell property, we will help you from listing to the closing table and every step in between. If you are looking to buy property, we will help you find, negotiate, and close on the property of your dreams. Contact Arkansas Mountain Real Estate, your natural choice for all of your real estate needs. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first. By empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charities, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank. Member FDIC. Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy has been serving the Greer's Ferry Lake area since 1976. They are located on the back side of the Court Square in downtown Heber Springs. Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy offers private consultations, Medicare enrollment, and immunization. And welcome back here to the 2A State on the AAA Digital Network complements of Lake Area Sports and Pettyjean Fiber. As we're in our third game, the girls' game is Conway Christian and Lifeway. Conway Christian leads here 21 to 10 as Pratt now puts her fifth point on the board. Moore looking to do something with it, and she's going to drag that foot and be calls with a walk. Yeah. Conway Christian comes in 29 and 5, the number one seed out of the 2A Central. And Lifeway comes in 20 and 12, the number four seed out of the 2A West. Yep. And the winner of this will play on Friday at 1 p.m. against the winner of Desart and Horatio. And that could be a very good game. So we've ended all of our Thursday games. Yes. Ball's inbounded here. Looking it across is the Warriors. Moore's going to be fouled. Pratt's going to pick up her first foul. <clears throat> Gives you an ASI insurance scoreboard update. At half in the 5A is Sylvan Hills leading Benton 25 to 21. These are all girls games. In the 6A, another ASI insurance scoreboard update. Fayetteville 26, Bryant 22. And in the 3A, Bergman 27, Jesseville 20. And at half, Wonderview 17, Mark Tree 15 in the 1A. And into the second quarter at half, the Southside Southerners, 24, Arkadelphia, 19, and that's in the 4A. Wow, that's a low-scoring game. Yep. She misses the, and the misses both, both of them. Yep. yep. 7:09 left here before half, as we're just coming off of a overtime ball game between Lavaca and Salone Hendricks. Off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled down there by Ruffley. Quickly ahead, Wingard. Excuse me, that's not Wingard. Yeah, it is Wingard. Yeah, Wingard. Now Bruner. Yep. Back to Wingard. Far corner there to Ruffley. And knocked out of bounds by the Lady Eagles. 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Boy, looking to get it in, gets it in there to Bruner. Bruner, a big three off the mark, no good. Tipped back out to Wingard. Now in the hands there, roughly. Now cross court pass to Bruner, three off the mark, no good. And rebound pulled down by Mallory Malone and the Lady Eagles. Williams with the basketball, now gives it up there to Scroggins. Now back in the hands of Scroggins from Pratt. Williams with the basketball now to Pratt. Far corner, Keithley inside to Gibson. 
Excuse me, that's not Gibson, that's Malone. Oh, that's blocked there by Mosley. Put it to the other end. Bruner gives it up to Ruffley, and then blocked there by Keithley. Yeah. Hallie, Hallie just had. <laughs> there wasn't nothing that Malone could do on her shot trying to hand a oh, yeah. out of the basket. So I'm going to say Hallie, Hallie Mosley's a good 6 1. Oh, yeah. Rockway getting it in. Balls into Hallie Mosley. Off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled down there by Brooklyn Brack. She wanted to get it ahead to Gibson, but didn't. Now she's going to hand it off to Gibson. Gibson's going to split the defense, go to the hole, lay it up and in. She's got 11. 23 to 10. 538 left here before half. Now really Mosley ahead of Bruner. Now tracked down there by Wingard, but knocked out of bounds there by Josie Williams. And Lilia roughly takes it out of bounds, takes it, throws it in. Mosley, top of the key, now gives it over to Bruner. Bruner gets it up there to Wingard, now inside the Holly Mosley and out of bounds, trying to get it to Lily Mosley. To, that was Lily Mosley trying to get it to Holly Mosley. 13 seconds blah, left blah, on the shot clock. Blah, blah, that's all I can do there. Now top of the key there to Wingard. Wingard oh, just stepped away by Brooklyn Pratt. Pratt's going to lay it up in the end. Looks like seven points now for Pratt. 25 to 10, and we're going to have a timeout. And in the action, stay with us here at Lake Area Sports. We'll be back. Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy has been serving the Greer's Ferry Lake area since 1976. They are located on the back side of the Court Square in downtown Heber Springs. Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy offers private consultations, Medicare enrollment, and immunizations for pneumonia, flu, COVID, shingles, tetanus, and more. They also test and treat strep and flu. Their staff is committed to providing fast and friendly service. Stop by today to see why Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy is Greer's Ferry Lake's number one independent pharmacy. Hey folks, Sean Gorham here for Cowboy Chevrolet Buick GMC in Heber Springs, the lake area's fastest growing GM dealership, where we make your car buying experience easy and enjoyable. Simply shop CowboysCBG.com where you can pick out your vehicle, get an appraisal, pre-approval, and even purchase from your living room. Every new vehicle purchased comes with a complimentary 7-year, 100,000 mile powertrain And welcome back here to the 2A State Tournament brought to you by Lake Area Sports on the AAA Digital Network and Petty Jean Fiber. The ball was tied up by Kate Scroggins, but possession there in favor of the Lady Warriors. Lifeway Christian. Lady Warriors trying to get it in. That's Holly Mosley now giving it up. To Lily Mosley, off the mark, no good. Conley Gibson with a rebound. Josie Williams now gets it across the timeline. 25 to 10 here. Now Brooklyn Pratt. Pratt's going to give it over to Williams for three. Williams drills it. She's in double figures. She's got 10. 28 to 10 now. 18 point lead. Bruner will work it across. Loses the handle and bodies go flying. They changed, okay, excuse me. You're right. <laughs> 28 to 10. Yes. How far corner, three's on its way up and off the mark there by Grayson Moore. Quickly ahead to Brooklyn Pratt now to Brister. Brister can't get the shot to go down. And Keithley's going to be called for a foul. The team foul number four. 
4.07 left in this one. Ball's inbounded there to Bruner. Bruner looking to do something with it. Just loses a handle picked up there by the Lady Eagles. Gibson in the far corner. Now gives it over to Keithley. Keithley's for three. Off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled down by Hallie Mosley. Hallie Mosley will kick it over to Bruner. Bruner now top of key there to Grayson Moore. They'll reset the offense. And jump ball. Oh, we're going to call a foul. On Pratt. Lady Eagles foul number two, Brooklyn Pratt. That's her second. Team foul number six. Ball's inbounded now to Graceland Moore. Moore's going to pick a dribble up. Now far corner to Bruner. Bruner's going to dribble it back out, hand it to Moore. 27 to go on the shot clock, 329 to go on the game clock. Ball's loose and out of bounds off of Pratt and the Lady Eagles. Emily Wingard returns for the Lady Warriors. Wingard will come in for Moore. Wingard will inbound it. Gets it in to Bruner. Bruner's three on the way, in and out. And ball's loose, picked up there by the Lady Warriors. Mosley in that far corner going to work. Hallie oh. Mosley up and in. That was a pretty play. Yeah. Maneuvered her way and just underneath the basket, underhanded it backboard in. 28 to 12, three minutes left before half. Pratt with the basketball. Pratt gives it over to Keithley. Keithley backdoors it to Williams. Williams over the big arms of Mosley up and in. 30 to 12, 243 left here before half. Wingard's trapped here at the top of the key. Now gives it up there to Lily Mosley. Lily going to the hole. Off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled down by Josie Williams. Williams kicking across quickly. Stop, pop, three on the way by Williams. Off the mark, no good. Brister with a rebound. Back out to Gibson for three. Off the mark, no good. And coming down with a rebound will be Lily Mosley. Keith's going to get a foul on Keithley. Be her second. Lily Brister goes out, and Miley Malone comes back in. Lily Mosley, one and one. And Lily Mosley will be shooting the free throws. It's off the mark, no good. Rebound by Josie Williams. Williams are working across. 2-12 left in this before half. Now three on the way by Pratt. Up and in uh, for Brooklyn Pratt. Wow. 33. She's got double figures. And out of bounds off of Bruner. As Williams done some acrobatic stuff on the sideline, not to touch it. 156 left in this second quarter. Another timeout by the timeout. Lady Warriors. Let's take it with them. Stay with us here at Lake Area Sports. Hey, folks, Sean Gorham here for Cowboy Chevrolet Buick GMC in Heber Springs, the Lake Area's fastest growing GM dealership, where we make your car buying experience easy and enjoyable. Simply shop CowboysCBG.com where you can pick out your vehicle, get an appraisal, pre approval, and even purchase from your living room. Every new vehicle purchased comes with a complimentary seven year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, and we deliver anywhere in the state. The service don't stop there. We also have a state-of-the-art service facility and collision repair center. So for all your automotive needs, come see us at Cowboys Chevrolet Buick GMC in Heber Springs. And welcome back here to the 2A State Basketball Tournament on the AAA Digital Network. Compliments of Lake Area Sports and Pentagene Fiber. 33-12, 153 left to go here. Before half, oh, knocked out of bounds there by Brenner. 
Staying with the Lady Eagles with 149 and 29 on the shot clock. Balls inbound to Josie Williams. Now gives it back out to Pratt. Pratt's going to get it into Gibson. Gibson turnaround shot up and off the mark. No good. And we're going to have a jump ball. But this now is going to be in favor of the Lady Eagles. Smallest girl on the court and the tallest girl on the court. <laughs> that just shows you, though, a tall girl, and they bring it down. Yep. And that small girl can get a hold of it. Keithley back to Pratt. Now cross court to Gibson. Gibson trying to go inside of Malone. And they're going to get a foul there on Hallie Mosley. It's going to be her first. Third team foul on the Lady Warriors, 33 to 12. Here it's been all Conway Christian from the tip. Balls inbound to Keithley. Keithley looking to do something with it. Gives it back out to Pratt inside to Gibson. Gibson back to Pratt. Pratt thought about it, didn't take it. Now runs into the trouble. Now to Keithley. Now to Williams. Williams along the baseline. Shot up off the mark. No good. And Williams skies up for a rebound, and she's going to be fouled. And this one's going to be on Lily mostly. And that will put Josie Williams at the line to shoot two. Josie Williams, two shots. And she's got 12 right now. First one's on the way. It's up and in. Makes it 34 to 12. And one more on the way. For Miss Josie Williams, up and in. 35 to 12 now. The Warriors looking to get it across. They do get it ahead there to Bruner. Bruner is going to go the hole, blocked there by Mallory Malone. It's stolen right away there by Lily Mosley. It's going to stay with, go back to Conway Christian, and we're going to have a timeout. We'll take it with them. Stay with us here. Like there is more. My name is Margaret, and I'm a quilter. Tried it, true, and addicted. <laughs> yes, I love having my grandkids come over. Uh, there can be five or six of them sitting around hooked up to the Wi-Fi. Through the Wi-Fi, I can connect with my smartphone and save some dollars there, and also I use it for my laptop. Internet starting at $69.99. Petty Jean Fiber. Welcome to the good life. And hey, welcome back here to the 2A State Basketball Tournament on the AAA Digital Network. Compliments of Lake Area Sports and Petty Jean Fiber. Got an ASI insurance scoreboard out of the 4A. Southside Lady Southerners lead Arkadelphia 33-32. Another ASI insurance scoreboard update out of the 1A. The Wonderview Lady Daredevils lead the Mark Tree Lady Indians 34 to 30 at the end of the third. Keith Lee gives it back over to Williams. Now back to Malone for three. Wow. Malone off the mark, no good. And rebound by Lily Mosley. Hallie Mosley will work it across the timeline. 39 seconds to go here before half. And that gets it in the hands there of Wingard. Wingard's going to hold it up. She's going to look inside. Mosley going to work. Gets a shot blocked. Back out to Ruffley. Off the mark, no good. Rebound by Josie Williams. She looks up and says, all right, we can settle for one here. Yep. With this 23-point lead for the Lady Eagles. Ten seconds left to go here before half. Williams with six seconds, five seconds. Four, Williams, oh, back doors and nobody's there. Ball's loose. And at the end of the first half, it's the Lady Eagles 35 and the Lady Warriors 12. Stay with us here at Lake Area Sports. We'll be back in a few minutes with the second half. i tell you what, I don't think you can go wrong with this service. Right away I noticed it. It was like, wow, how can it be this fast? The installer came and he did just a super guy. The beauty of it is I'm getting better service, saving money. Man, you can't go wrong there. Internet starting at $69.99. Petty Jean Fiber. Better service, better pricing. Welcome to the good life. 
finding an insurance provider that offers a wide variety of coverage options and superior customer service can be challenging. American Safeguard Insurance is your best choice in Central Arkansas because we offer large agency resources and coverage options with small agency service. Don't settle for less. Experience more savings, more coverage, and more service with American Safeguard Insurance. Arkansas Mountain Real Estate. Your natural choice is in the perfect location right at the foothills of the Ozark Mountains on the shores of Grisbury Lake in Clinton. Our coverage area reaches far beyond the city limits of Clinton. We offer real estate in the Grizz Ferry Lake area, foothills of the Ozark Mountains, Clinton, Fairfield Bay, and Little Red River areas, covering the counties of Van Buren, Cleburne, Faulkner, White, Stone, and Searcy, as well as all the surrounding counties. Contact Arkansas Mountain Real Estate, your natural choice for all of your real estate needs. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first. By empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charity, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank. Member FDIC. At Nap Trust, they specialize in insulation and creation of custom wood trusses for your home or business. Nap Trust utilizes only premier lumber to ensure our products last. When you come to Nap Trust, you will have the peace of mind knowing you're receiving the best quality construction for the best price in the area. Nap Trust staff members have years in the industry and know what it takes to install a quality trust from the start finish. Call Nap Trust at 870-948-2105 today. F.L. Davis is more than just a hardware store with six locations to serve you in Heber Springs, Greer's Ferry, Sherwood, Pea Ridge, Fayetteville, and Centerton. They are your one-stop shop for hardware and home improvement. They are also the home of the Lake Boutique, featuring clothing, footwear, jewelry, accessories, baby items, home decor, and kitchen items. Whether you're building a new home, improving your old one, or needing a gift for yourself or someone else, stop by one of their locations and experience all that they have to offer. Ivy Physical Therapy in Heber Springs is a proud supporter of the Lake Area Athletes. If you or your student athlete are looking to get back in shape or for therapy after an injury, give Ivy Physical Therapy a call at 501-362-8118 or visit ivyphysicaltherapy.com. versus fiber internet. Who will win? Ah, oh, my internet's lagging. Oh, got you. I'm froze up. I can't move. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Petty Jean Fiber, game changing internet. At American Safeguard Insurance, our job is to make sure you understand exactly what you need so you're covered if your worst case scenario becomes a reality. We offer a variety of coverage options, including personal and commercial insurance, so that your home and business are covered no matter what. Don't settle for less. Experience more savings, more coverage, and more service with American Safeguard Insurance. Arkansas Mountain Real Estate is a full service real estate company that will help you every step of the way. If you are looking to sell property, we will help you from listing to the closing table and every step in between. If you are looking to buy property, we will help you find, negotiate, and close on the property of your dreams. 
contact Arkansas Mountain Real Estate, your natural choice for all of your real estate needs. Centennial Bank is committed to you. Since our founding in 1999, we've become one of the nation's most trusted banks by remembering that you come first. By empowering our communities to reach their highest potential through our dedication to local charities, education, and exceptional service. Because we are proud to call Arkansas home. Banking with you in mind. Centennial Bank. Member FDIC. Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy has been serving the Greer's Ferry Lake area since 1976. They are located on the back side of the Court Square in downtown Heber Springs. Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy offers private consultations, Medicare enrollment, and immunizations for pneumonia, flu, COVID, shingles, tetanus, and more. They also test and treat strep and flu. Their staff is committed to providing fast and friendly service. Stop by today to see why Ivy's Family Disco Pharmacy is Greer's Ferry Lake's number one independent pharmacy. Hey folks, Sean Gorham here for Cowboy Chevrolet Buick GMC in Heber Springs, the lake area's fastest growing GM dealership, where we make your car buying experience easy and enjoyable. Simply shop CowboysCBG.com where you can pick out your vehicle, get an appraisal, pre-approval, and even purchase from your living room. Every new vehicle purchased comes with a complimentary 7-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, and we deliver anywhere in the state. The service don't stop there. We also have a state-of-the-art service facility and collision repair center. So for all your automotive needs, come see us at Cowboy Chevrolet Buick GMC in Heber Springs. My name is Margaret and I'm a quilter. Tried it, trued, and addicted. <laughs> yes, I love having my grandkids come over. Uh, there can be five or six of them sitting around hooked up to the Wi-Fi. Through the Wi-Fi, I can connect with my smartphone and save some dollars there, and also I use it for my laptop. Internet starting at $69.99. Petty Jean Fiber. Welcome to the good life. In a world where you can be anything, be a homeowner. Arkansas Mountain Real Estate has an experienced team ready to help you find the home of your dreams. We will help you in each step of the home buying process. Don't tackle one of life's biggest decisions without an experienced realtor by your side. Contact Arkansas Mountain Real Estate, your natural choice for all of your real estate needs. Welcome back here to the 2A State Basketball Tournament with Triple A Digital Network, compliments of Lake Area Sports and Benny Jean Fiber. I'm going to flip you right over to Ronnie Brett Burrow. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jonathan. All righty, for the Lifeway Christian Lady Warriors, they've got two scores. Uh, I believe they're sisters. Hallie Moley, Mosley has six, and Lily Mosley has six. Then you go over here to the Conway Christian Lady Eagles, the leading score, Josie Williams with 14, Conley Gibson with 11, and Brooklyn Platt with 10. And that's all the scores we've got out of, we got five scores, and all we got out of these both these teams. All right, we got a ASI insurance scoreboard update at the end of the third quarter out of the 6A girls, uh, Fayetteville 37, Bryant 31. 
An ASI insurance scoreboard update out of the 3A. It is Bergman 41, Jesseville 40. Another ASI scoreboard update. In the third quarter, Southerners of Southside 32, Arkadelphia 30, 33-32, excuse me. That's all we got up to date now. And, uh, Brooklyn was ahead or Arkadelphia was ahead? Southside was ahead of Arkadelphia 33-32. Okay. And Fayetteville's ahead of Bryant 37-31 and Bergman's ahead of Jesseville 41-40. Bergman the defending state champs being put to the brink right now. Yep. And a foul was called on Holly Mosley and somebody steal your barbecue from here or did you eat it? I done ate it and <laughs> trash, my friend. And Josie Williams make the first point and makes the second one. She's got 16 to start this third quarter. And there's a throwaway by Lily Mosley. And turn back over to. Yeah, we had a thriller in that first game. We had an overtime, or second game, we had an overtime mm -hmm. as Avaka knocked off Sloan Hendricks. Yes. The winner of this game will play on Thursday at 1 p.m. between Desart and Horatio. So, three's on the way by Malone. It's off the mark, no good. And out of bounds, we'll go back to the Lady Warriors of Lifeway Christian. 37-12 here. Wing guards trapped. Now trying to get it to Mosley and knocked out of bounds there by Keithley as she ran into Gibson. And 29 seconds left on this to get it across half court here. Gets it in there to really Mosley. Trying to get it ahead, thrown away. Just trying to get it to Wingard and thrown away. Yep, thrown out and <clears throat> Lady Eagles of Conway will take over. Josie Williams with the basketball gives it over to Pratt. Now top of key to Gibson. Now back doors it there to Williams. Williams a quick across court there to Pratt. Pratt now far corner of Gibson. Now trying to get it inside to Malone. Malone's going to be called for that walk. That's taking that step without dribbling. Yep. That's called the sin of traveling. I believe you got that's that our correct. Broadcast partner, Mr. Josh Mall says. And roughly, he'll get it ahead there to Hallie Mosley. Hallie Mosley, you know, over here to, Lily, to roughly inside there to Lily Mosley. Now cross court, shot up oh. and in for Hallie Mosley. Yeah. That gives her, uh, gives her eight. Makes it 37 to 14. Quickly at the other end, Gibson. Off the mark, no good. Hallie blocks the shot. Quickly all the way, roughly lays it up and in. And that's the first points for somebody other than a Mosley. <laughs> for the Lady Warriors. Shot up, off the mark, no good by Pratt. And rebound pulled down there by uh, Wingard. Six minutes left here in this third quarter. And clear across the time is Lily Moser, Mosley. Now Chris uh, Wingard. Now Wingard's going to get to the top of the key. Wingard's picked up there by Williams. Now inside. Hallie Mosley's going to work. Off the mark, no good. Rebound by Gibson. Josie Williams now with the basketball. Williams is going to be fouled. And number 15, Holly Mosley. And that'll be her third. Ball's inbounded, shot up, blocked there by Lily Mosley. And going to have a foul. Mm -hmm. Looks like Gibson will go to the free throw line. Lily Mosley, all right. Gibson will shoot. First, First up, and up and in. A 22-point lead right now. Yep. 5.30 left here in this third. Up and in there, 39-16 now. 
She makes them both. Yep. Hallie, or Hallie Mosley gives it over to number 12, Wingard. Now top of key to Mosley. Now over to Lily Mosley. Lily Mosley looking to go something with it. Now we're going to travel around. Now Bruner. Now back to Wingard. Wingard, three, oh. buries it. Wow. That's a new added dimension. Now Keith. Keith is going to hand it off to Williams. He is back to Keithley. Keithley for three. Up and in. 42 now for the Lady Eagles. 42 19. That's Keithley's first points of the game. Bruno runs into trouble there. He's got to get rid of it. And we're going to have a jump ball. Oh, they're going to call a foul. I was going to be on Josie Williams. Be her first. Oh, they called a return, huh? Okay. Yeah, she had one in the first quarter. Okay. I must have missed that one. Oh, we can't have I, that. I, I guess I'm human. We can't have that. Well, <laughs> forgive me. I'll Hallie try to do better. Mosley with the ball. Now with the Bruner. Now in the far corner. Lily Mosley, three. Off the mark, no good. Rebound by Gibson. Quickly ahead comes the Lady Eagles. That's Josie Williams with the basketball. Williams, far corner, Pratt. Pratt back top key to Gibson. Gibson for three. Off the mark, no good. And rebound pulled down there by Hallie Mosley. Wingard will give it back over to Mosley. As Mosley will work it across. Now it gets ahead there to Bruner. Now that far corner to Ruffley. Ruffley's just stripped. Away for Josie Williams, and Josie Williams is going to outrun everybody to the hole, and she's going to be fouled. Josie's going to shoot two, and the foul's going to be on. And the Le Lifeway Christian Lady Warriors have four fouls already early in this third quarter. Josie Williams up and in. Makes it 43-19. That's her 17th point. She's got three in this third quarter. Second one's on the way. It's up and in. 44-19 now. 352 left in this third quarter. Hallie Mosley picks a dribble up now. It's going to be stolen away there by Kara Keatley, but out of bounds. Slapped it out, she did. Couldn't control it. Wayne Warriors looking to get it in and almost turned over, but it's going to be out of bounds on the Lady Eagles. And there was another one there that. <clears throat> Lady Warriors trying to get it in. They do. They get it in there to Ruffley. Ruffley will hand it back to Bruner. Bruner will give it across there. So Wingard, Wingard's three off the mark, no good, and try to be saved there by Ruffley, and it's going to be out of bounds. 44-19, 3.33 left in the go in this third quarter. And it's been all Eagles from the tip. Yes, it has. Hands will give it up to Gibson. Gibson's going to give it over to Pratt. Pratt back to Keefley. Oh, <laughs> Keefley moved that foot. She knew she did it, too. Took that hop, and yeah. she shouldn't have took that hop without dribbling. And Bruner goes out, and 13 comes in, which is more. Ball's in the hands of Wingard. Wingard gets it ahead there to Hallie Mosley. Mosley with the basketball. Shot up, off the mark, no good. And rebound pulled down by the Lady Eagles of Conway Christian. Far corner, Pratt, cross-court pass. Keithley, three. Off the mark, no good. Gibson trying to try to track it down, but it's going to be out of bounds. I want to say it's going to be off of the Eagles. Off of Conley. I mean, Gibson. Conley, Gibson, yep. And it's going to be inbounded to Lily Mosley. Almost stole oh. away there by Keithley, but... Quickly ahead come the Lady Warriors. And it's knocked down there by Williams. 24 to go on the shot clock. 
Moore with the basketball. Now far corner there to Hallie Mosley inside to Lily Mosley, and she's going to go up and be fouled. Lady Eagles foul for 33, Conley Gibson, her second team's second. Lily Mosley, two shots. That's number 33, Con Conley Gibson's second foul, team foul number two. Mosley's first one's up and in. Gives her seven. One more, and <coughs> she'll be tied with, I'm um, assuming that's her big sister. Yep, up and in. And we're going to have a timeout by Coach Lynch. We'll take it with them. Stay with us here, Lake Area folks. And welcome back here to the 2A State Basketball Tournament brought to you by Pettigene Fiber and Lake Area Sports on the AAA Digital Network. Got a couple of score updates here. The ASI Insurance Scoreboard Update, 6A. Fayetteville has knocked off Bryant 46-38. That is a girls' action. Bergman has knocked off Jesseville 61-52. And here we're in the third quarter, 44-21. Far corner, Gibson off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled down there by Mosley. Quickly ahead and we back to the Lady Eagles of Conway Christian as Wingard ran right into Josie Williams. Two thirteen left here in the third, 44-21. Proud to give it over to Williams. Williams looks inside the Malone. Stolen away there by the Lady Warriors. Took it the other end. Emily Wingard off the mark, no good. Rebound by Mosley off the mark, no good. Pratt comes out of there with the basketball. Pratt's going to go coast to coast. Off the mark, no good. Rebound by Kara Keatley up and in. And she's going to be fouled. Grayson Moore fouled her. First foul on Grayson. Off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled down by Mosley. That's Lily Mosley now. Oh, almost thrown away there. Hallie liked to throw that one away. Hallie Moore did. And Mosley. Oh, I want to say Moore. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully with the basketball. Now loses the handle. Picked up there by Pratt. Pratt's going to dive her way through. Now pull it up. 34 to go on the shot clock. 122 to go on the game clock. Keithley with the basketball. Now gives it over to Williams. Now back to Pratt. Pratt to Gibson. Going to the hole. Gets Mosley up in the air. And up to Hallie Mosley. And she's going to be fouled. That's going to be three on this Hallie. The Lady Eagles will be in the one and one from here on out. Gibson rattles home for Gibson. Checking in for the Lady Eagles, number 23, Lily Brister. Number four, Kate Scroggins. Brister coming in, Scroggins coming in, going out with Keithley and Malone for the Lady Eagles. And Gibson gets both of those, makes it 48-21. She's got four in this fourth quarter. 110 left here in this third quarter. Jump ball, gonna be a possession there for the Lady Eagles. Checking in for the Lady Warriors, number 31, Kara. Lily Mosley checks out, and number 31, Carla Zank comes in. Top of the key to, to Scroggins. Stolen away there by the Lady Warriors. Quickly at the other end. 
And that's going to be Grayson Moore. She's going to be called for that walk. Took them hobble steps there. To yep. Couldn't get them brakes applied fast <laughs> enough. 48-21, 47 seconds left to go. Quickly a three by oh, oh in oh by Josie Williams. It's at 51-21, 30 point lead now for the Lady Eagles. Well, that would put us into the <clears throat> shot on the way up and off the mark. No good by Zank. And rebound by the Lady Eagles and Conway Christian. I don't know. Do they in the state tournament? Do they still do the yep, fourth quarter? They do. Third, <clears throat> Thirty point lead. It's yep. clock will not stop then. Yeah, we'll have the quarter and the clock won't stop if we begin to start the fourth quarter at thirty. Pratt with the basketball inside to Gibson. Gibson's going to work. Off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled down by Mosley, and that's going to end our third quarter. It's Lady Eagles 51, Lady Warriors 21. Stay with us here at Lake Area Sports on the Triple A Digital Network. Compliments of Penny Jean Viber. Thank you, Arkansas, for making us the number one store. Ryan, what better way to celebrate during the President's Day sales event? That's right, Joe. We've got 1.9% right now on 2022 Gladiator Rubicon. And Ryan, don't forget about the Ram 1500. We have 0% financing on select models. So for all your new Ram, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, make that beautiful drive to Heber Springs during the President's Day sales event. Or check us out on the web at redriverdodge.com. And Red River, we deliver. One epic battle. Cable internet versus fiber internet. Who will win? Ah, oh, my internet's lagging. Oh, got you. I'm froze up. I can't move. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Petty Jean Fiber. Game changing internet. Finding an insurance provider that offers a wide variety of coverage options and superior customer There we go. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with the computer there for a second. <laughs> And we are back here. 51-21. 30 point lead for the Lady Eagles all the way to the hole up and in there. Moore. It was Moore. She gets on the scoring board. And we've got a host of new girls in here for <clears throat> Conway Christian. Hartley over to Scroggins for three up and in. Hey, first points of the night. Got Scroggins, got number three Carver, got Brister, um, uh, Scroggins, 12, Walker. Got a Brister with a rebound, got an ASI insurance scoreboard update out of the 4A. Arkadelphia has knocked off Southside Southerners 58-33 in girls action. And Wonderview has knocked off Mark Tree in girls action, 49-46. Wow. All right. Shot was blocked there. Uh, Mosley there. And the Lady Warriors have it down here. More, oh, more dribble out of her hand and off the head of Walker. <laughs> Out of bounds and Wingard. Wingard's going to come back in here for Bruner. Trying to get it in. That's Lily Mosley off the mark. No good. And rebound by Scroggins amongst the towers there. Yeah, the, the other towers uh, still on the bench, I believe. And shot up off the mark. No good there by Carver. And rebound pulled down by the Lady Eagles. Shot up off the mark there by Hartley. Brister with the rebound and yep. stolen away there by Ruffley. And we got a jump ball, and possession arrow is going to be in favor of the Lady Warriors. Yep. 535 with the clock running. 
Mm. Oh, I'm <clears throat> yep. Up next, we got a boys game coming up next. Yeah, that Bigelow. is called Bigelow versus Hector. Hector. Yep. Our second boys game, if it's anything like our first boys game, it'll go to the wire. It'll be a knockdown <laughs> drag out. <laughs> well, we know, we, we have seen Bigelow's boys, so we know yeah. uh, we've not seen the Hector boys. That, uh, they were the fourth seed. Yeah, we're familiar kind of with Hector because they just come out of our conference. Yes. The, 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 the high school that we call. And that's stolen away there by the Lady Lifeway Warriors. And shot up and in <laughs> there by number 12, Emily Wingard. Makes it 54-26, 4.34 left here. In this one, as the clock is running, as the Lady Eagles are going to punch their themselves to the second round. Yep. And they will play Thursday. Stowing away there by the Lady Warriors. Look at the other end. That's number 15. Hallie Mosley, threes on the way by Shank. Off the mark, no good. And rebound pulled down by the Lady Eagles and Scroggins. Lady Eagles were going to play on Thursday at 1 o'clock. And that will take on the winner of uh, Desarc and Horatio. And, <clears throat> and that game, Desarc and Horatio, is tomorrow at 7 o'clock. And all games will be broadcast here on Lake Area Sports and the AAA Digital Network. Woo Up and in. Allie Mosley for three. We got a timeout in action. We'll stay here real quick and thank our sponsors. And no, we won't. We'll go ahead and go to a commercial. Stay with us, sir. Finding an insurance provider that offers a wide variety of coverage options and superior customer service can be challenging. American Safeguard Insurance is your best choice in Central Arkansas because we offer large agency resources and coverage options with small agency service. Don't settle for less. Experience more savings, more coverage, and more service with American Safeguard Insurance. Are you ready? And we are back here. 54-29, 30, 34 left to go. Clock will continue to run. Up next is the Bigelow Panthers taking on the Hector Wildcats, the Hector Lady Wildcats for victorious this morning over the Bigelow Panthers. Yep. So, both two teams will face up again this time in girls' action and two games later. With some new faces in there for Conway Christian. Shot off the mark, no good, and battle for a rebound with Shank coming down with it. Mm, Shanana tra track. Yep. Shot up and off the mark, no good there by Wingard. Trake with a rebound for the Lady Eagles. Trake looking to do something with it. I'm trying to get it there to number 20, Isabel Ghost. Off the mark, no good there by number 11, Macy Helton. And quickly at the other end. Hannah Hunter going up, and she's going to be fouled. Be fouled by Brister. That'll be Lily's first foul. Lady Eagles foul for five. Anna Hartley, her first team third. 54-29, 2.20 left to go as the clock is running. Two shots. Sounds like the air conditioner just come on behind us. It's very loud, do you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> Bruner goes out, and I guess 13 more comes back in. Yep. Mm -hmm. Moore's back in. One more on the way for Hunter. It's up. It's in. Off the mark, no good. Rebound by Trake. Across, 149 left to go. Trakey's going to the hole. Up oh, and in. Oh. She wants on the board. She said, put my name down. 56 30, 135 left to go. Three on the way by, oh, excuse me, that's what she was shooting. On inside, off the mark, no good there by Hallie Mosley. And they're going to have a 
jump ball. The position is going to be in favor of the Lady Warriors with 118 left to go here before the end of this one. Next one was scheduled to start at 530, so we're about two minutes behind right now. Well, thanks to the clock running yep. like this, it made a little bit of that overtime up a little bit. Yeah. Shot up and off the mark. No good there by Macy Helton. 54 seconds left in this one. Quickly at the other end. That's Wingard off the mark. No good. And Hunter kind of out of nowhere to get that rebound. Mosley cross court pass to Hunter. Now back to Mosley. That's Hallie Mosley off the mark. Lily Brister with a rebound. And trying to get it ahead to Anna Hartley. Hartley's going to pull it up, give it over to Trake. Trake's going to get it back to Hartley. Hartley for three off the mark. No good. And rebound pulled down there by the Lady Eagles. That was number 20 goes. 20 seconds left to go. Brister with a rebound in the corner. And looks like the Lady Eagles are going to just let the clock run. Shot off the mark. No good there by Helton. Mosley with another rebound. She's probably got 20 rebounds in that. Yep. All the way to the hole, lays it up and in there. That was Hannah Hunter. Oh, excuse me, that was a wing guard. Excuse me, that was a wing guard. Emily wing guard. Conway yep. Christian improves their record to 30 and 5. The final was 56 31, Ron. Thank you. And Lifeway will end their season at 20 and 13 on Our the year. The is and once again, the Lady Eagles will punch their ticket to Friday night, or Friday afternoon at 1 p.m. They'll take on the winner between Desarc and Horatio. And as we come together for a word of prayer here. Like our sponsors, Petty Jean Viber, ASI Insurance, <clears throat> Arkansas Mountain Real Estate, Cowboy Chevrolet, FL Davis, Fam Ivy Family Disco Pharmacy, Red River Dodge, Nap Trust, Ivy Physical Therapy, Cutting Edge Wedding, Calico Trailers, Rick's Pond and Swap, Arkansas Elite, Community Water, Bobby Baker, in and out of the general store. Go ahead, Rod. All righty. For the <clears throat> Lifeway Christian Lady Warriors, uh, leading scorer, Holly Mosley, had 11. And Lily Mosley had eight. And you flip over here to Conway Christian, <clears throat> leading scorer, uh, Josie Williams, 21. Uh, Conley Gibson had 15. And Brooklyn Platt had 10. Final score, Conway Christian, 56. And Lifeway Christian, 31. All right, as you know the drill, we're going to go off air, come back on a different.